In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 biggest standouts of the World Baseball Classic 2023. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss any videos. The 2023 World Baseball Classic, WBC, an international professional baseball tournament, is the fifth iteration of the World Baseball Classic. In January 2020, the WBC announced that the 16 national teams which participated at the 2017 World Baseball Classic would automatically qualify for the 2023 tournament. The tournament took place in March 2023 and we saw a few players whose performances were outstanding. Let's look at the top 10. Number 10. LF Masataka Yoshida, Japan. We can debate who Japan's best hitter was in the first round of the WBC, but only Masataka Yoshida struck out exactly zero times while going 5-4-12 with a pair of walks. All the 29-year-old did in seven years in Nippon professional baseball was hit .327 with four seasons of 20-plus home runs. Number 9. RF Anthony Santander, Venezuela. His two-run double extended Venezuela's lead over Nicaragua, and he had previously hit game-tying and lead-extending home runs against the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, respectively. If Santander can stay on this track, he can be more than just a supporting character alongside Adley Rushman, Gunnar Henderson and Cedric Mullins in Baltimore's lineup. Other American League East contenders, be warned. Number 8. RHP Miguel Romero, Cuba. He set a tone by whiffing Xander Bogaerts and Jonathan Scope in his first outing against the Netherlands and stuck to it his next two times out. The 28-year-old Romero has been in the A's system since 2017, yet it would have been hard to say at the end of 2022 that his trajectory was upward in shape. In 38 appearances at the AAA level, he allowed 72 hits and 48 runs next to 32 strikeouts and 30 walks over 53.1 innings. Number 7. CF Lars Nootbaar, Japan. His star was rapidly rising in the second half of the 2022 season, wherein he had as many walks as strikeouts, 41, while hitting the ball at an average of 91.9 miles per hour. And now he goes 6 for 14 with 4 walks at the plate, he also shined on defense with a great catch against China and a greater still catch against Korea. Number 6. 3 Beyond Moncada, Cuba. That Cuba survived Pool A anyway has a lot to do with Yon Moncada. Not that we're ignoring the excellent defense he also played, but it was mainly his bat that did the talking as he went 6-4-17 with two doubles and one very long home run. Number 5. 1B Joey Menezes, Mexico. Team USA can vouch, as they felt Menezes' long ball wrath not once but twice in an 11-5 upset. Because of his age, there's a discussion to be had as to whether the Nationals should consider trading Menezes while his stock is high. But until that day comes, he's arguably the top reason for Nats fans to keep tuning in while the club is otherwise rebuilding. Number 4. 2 be Robbie Glendening, Australia. First, by way of an .813 OPS at AA in 2022. Then, with an .825 OPS back in Australia for the Melbourne Aces. And before jetting off for the WBC by going 6-4-7 in four spring training contests with the Royals. It isn't entirely clear what Glendening's status on the Royals roster is right now, but their interest should be peaked anyway. With Hunter Dozier holding less than a vice-like grip on the third base gig, another option for the position is precisely what they need. Number 3. RHP Luis Garcia, Venezuela. Garcia struck out Rafael Devers, Jeremy Pena, Jaimer Candelario, Robinson Cano, Julio Rodriguez, Manny Machado, and Tiascar Hernandez. Unless you're Pedro Martinez at the 1999 All-Star Game, it's hard to do better than that. Though the 26-year-old righty got his fastball up to 96.1 miles per hour, it was his cutter and slider that really did damage against the DR. Of the 17 swings against those two pitches, 11 came up empty. Number 2. RHP Jose de Leon, Puerto Rico. He was rated as a top 100 talent in 2016 and 2017, and he even represented Puerto Rico in the WBC in the latter year. He's been hurt for much of the last half decade or so, but it's to de Leon's credit that all this felt like water under the bridge as he was dominating in some games, particularly by way of a power sinker that touched 94.2 miles per hour. 
If the Twins can't find space for him on what is admittedly a deep pitching staff, another team may be all too happy to give him a shot. Number 1. 1 B.U. Chang, Taiwan. Taiwan was unable to advance out of Pool A to the quarterfinals despite having home field advantage at Taichung Intercontinental Baseball Stadium, but that was no fault of Yu Chang's. The 27-year-old infielder did a little bit of everything to win the MVP for Pool A, but what he mainly did was hit the crud out of the ball when Taiwan needed him to. He had a game-tying two-run homer against Italy and a go-ahead grand slam against the Netherlands. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching, and see you next time.